So today I'm going to tell you to avoid this particular GPU and you're going to want the one that I'm going to talk about instead. What's the big reasoning for this? They seem pretty similar. I know it's a little bit mysterious, but with prices rapidly coming down and you put that together with various versions that Nvidia released, which one of these GPUs should you really be going for? This makes it incredibly tough. This is going to be probably the most popular GPU that you can get for this entire generation. Now, I would normally tell you we're pretty much at the end of the cycle RTX 4000 is going to come out next year should you just wait at this point for many people probably that's really going to be a good idea but if you want basically what is the most reasonable high-end GPU is this the one that you should be shooting for this is going to be the RTX 3080 now when it was first announced by Nvidia with a 699 MSRP everybody pretty much went pretty bonkers because the performance on hand was very very impressive for that price price to pretty good is a Windows CD key. Today's video sponsor is going to be VIP-CDKDeals.com. Very simple process. You can get a Windows 10 Pro CD key and remember to use code CC20 for a nice discount. I think Nvidia really, really regrets pricing it at $699. What ensued after was a pretty crazy amount of markup on this particular GPU. This was one of the worst ones if you look at the secondhand market. At certain points, it went well over $2,000 for that original Founders Edition GPU. The only reasoning being that it was an LHR and of course the crypto mining craze didn't help the value of this GPU at all. But aside from that, as a gaming GPU at $699, this was really sort of the perfect value to gaming performance GPU. It wasn't $1,200 like the 2080 Ti, and it certainly wasn't anywhere near the sort of retail MSRP of over $2,000 of the 3090 and the GPUs that were really sold as sort of being the best, when at the end of the day, as we even when we look at different benchmarks, the RTX 3080 is really not that far from a 3090 if you consider the mass price delta. So now we have to consider absolutely everything that's happened in the market for us to get at this point. Point. Oddly enough, right after sort of that exemption on tariffs happened, availability skyrocketed and the prices started to come down very, very aggressively. So let's compare and contrast the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte, the newer version, with the original 3080 10 gigabyte with the context of what we can actually find in the market. It's one thing to say, oh, reviews say this or benchmarks say this when you can't buy any of them, but now that you can actually buy them, this is going to make a lot more sense viewing what you can actually look up and order. Many of these GPUs have been in stock pretty readily now, not only in places that people have access to, like Newegg, Amazon, maybe even B&H, now Micro Center, Best Buy. These GPUs have certainly been popping up a lot more. So if you're talking about an RTX 3080 12 gigabyte versus the original 10 gigabyte version, which one is the one that you should buy? Now, if you go by specs alone, of course, the newer one is really technically better. It's going to have two more gigabytes of VRAM, basically matching the 3080 Ti and it's going to have a little bit more CUDA cores. It's going to have a little bit more performance in every single game. And I really emphasize a little bit more. It's really not that big of a difference. So now let's take it into context. We know that it is technically a better GPU, really no drawbacks compared to the original 3080. Of course, that's if you're a gamer. Of course, if you're doing cryptocurrency mining, there's a huge drawback. The new one is LHR, pretty much every single one that was released. And even with all of the different unlocks and software workarounds, they have not been able to really unlock this one to any degree that's really very attractive. So the original 3080 before it became LHR, that's an entirely different GPU. And that's why that one is so expensive on the secondhand market, such as the Founders Edition and even the earlier EVGA GPUs initially when it came out before it switched over to LHR. But of course, even being LHR, the new 12 gigabyte one is priced higher anyway. So for gamers overall, over time, the resale value may even out and in fact be better because after all, it is the better GPU. So we can agree that the performance difference really isn't that large. I mean, even if you compare the original 3080 to a 3080 Ti, Yes, you're getting a little bit more performance and with the 3090, a little bit more, but it's not the typical level of tiered performance that you can consider it an entirely different level of GPU. At least in most games and titles, I would still consider the original 3080 almost pretty much in the same class as the 3080 Ti and the 3090, including the new 12 gigabyte 3080. It's not like you're going from a 3070 to a 3080. That's going to be more of a difference. For the most part, for most games, 
it's not that big of a difference. It is there, but it's really not that big. It's gonna come down to the price. So a few months ago, the 12 gigabyte version of the 3080 was a good deal over $1,200. Some models around $1,299, like the For the Win 3. Now, it's dropped to about $999, which is a pretty significant drop. This is just in part with, you know, everything going on with more availability, lowering prices from every single manufacturer, and just probably lower demand in general. Now, you may be thinking, that seems like a pretty good deal, but what else should you know? $999 is still a lot more expensive than $699, but we're getting closer. The cheapest 12 gigabyte GPU that I've seen is gonna be a little bit under $900, sometimes around $889. This is gonna be the EVGA XC3, the black edition. Now, it's not gonna have quite the same out of the box overclocking as something like the For the Win 3. Maybe the cooler is slightly inferior, but at the end of the day, it's still a pretty high quality GPU. I wouldn't say it's cheap at all. Unfortunately, the cheapest you're gonna be able to find something like even the original 10 gigabyte version, which is still being sold alongside the 12 gigabyte version, typically I would say about $100 less for the cheapest one. So if you see the XC3 889, you're probably gonna see around 779 or 789 for the 10 gigabyte version. Now, of course, it's more than the 699, but for $100, is it worth it to get the 12 gigabyte version? I think think if the difference really is $100, I think then it's pretty much a no-brainer. You're going to get two more gigabytes of VRAM, may or may not make a difference in some really high-end games. You're going to get a little bit better frames per second, depending on what game you're playing on. Not a huge amount. And overall, it's just going to be the newer GPU compared to the original one. So for 100 bucks, definitely I would say it's worth it. If we look at what pricing was last year, you know, $700 for that original MSRP to over $1,200, that was a $500 plus difference between these two 3080 GPUs, that certainly would not be worth it at all. But if you're talking about 100, I would say even to 150 bucks between them, I would certainly go for the 12 gigabyte version if you're buying it now. It's just going to be a little bit better future proofing when RTX 4000 comes out and likely the resale value will also stay a little bit better than the original 3080 in the very, very long term. So the very fact we can even compare them at a hundred dollar difference and this GPU has been sporadically available on Newegg, I believe even the $999 for the Win 3. That one pretty much flooded the market recently. Everywhere seemed to have them. Now, in my opinion, I think it's probably worth it more to get that XC3 at only $100 over the older 3080 and the $999 for the Win 3. That's getting definitely pretty close to what I consider sort of an acceptable limit at this late juncture in the GPU release. It's still a great GPU for that price, but I think you're better off if you can catch one of these 3080s under $9. After all, the 6900 XT as an option, even from AMD, it's been in stock recently, and it's about $999. Depending on what game you're playing, that GPU may be superior in certain titles than the 3080. In fact, it can even beat certain 3090s depending on the exact resolution you're playing, usually under 4K and depending on the exact title. Just something to keep in mind with the pricing structure of existing GPUs. So at the end of the day, I still think the 3080 is a pretty good buy if it's under $900. Even if you can get the 10 gigabyte version in the $700 range or as close as possible to MSRP, I don't really think it's that bad of a deal. Now, if you do want to get used, hopefully these are going to start going under MSRP pretty soon. While they're not exactly quite there, some will be at MSRP and slightly lower if they're used. That's definitely, I think, where you're going to find the best deals. Retailers are going to take weeks and weeks to reflect on the true pricing of the market. Sometimes some retailers may be a little bit stubborn and still try to sell these GPUs at higher markups, but if you certainly look in the used market and you can buy from a secondhand user something that was well taken care of, you may find actually significant discounts on these GPUs. Typically, depending on the manufacturer, you may be able to even transfer the warranty and even as the second owner, but your mileage may vary there. I would look at the specific GPU that you're looking for, look at different user experiences. So in my opinion, if you're looking for a 3080 level GPU, try to get it under $900 at this point. The one that's a thousand is good, but it's still a little bit too much considering what may happen to the market later on. And the 10 gigabyte one, I would only buy that over the 12 gigabyte if you're getting a considerable discount, maybe something over $200 than whatever you can find on the market. Otherwise, I would just go for the newer 12 gigabyte version. It's going to serve you better going into the future. All right, guys, so let me know what you think if you're in the market for a 3080. Is that the decision you would make as well? Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.